Welcome to day four of my 12 days of Christmas challenge. Today I'm going to be selecting the best goalkeeper of the last 30 years. This was the most difficult decision of the selections I've made so far, but after much deliberation, I've satisfied that I've made the correct choice. I genuinely considered about 10 goalkeepers, but in the end, I narrowed it down to a short list of three. For a long time, I would have considered Peter Schmeichel as the best goalkeeper I had ever seen. His style was everything I rate in a goalkeeper. He patrolled his area, was demanding of his defenders and was exceptional in one-on-one -on -one situations. However, the one criticism I would have of Schmeichel is his career at the top was relatively short. He was 27 when he joined United in 1991 and stayed until 1999, leaving after they secured the treble. He played on for another four years with Sporting, Aston Villa and Manchester City, but it would be interesting to see what else he could have won if he stayed at United. That said, five Premier League titles and the European Cup in his last game wasn't a bad return, and to his credit he helped support him win the Portuguese League in his first season with the club. I also have to mention Denmark's shock success at Euro 92, as Schmeichel played a massive part in it, with crucial saves, particularly in the semi-final and final wins over Holland and Germany. The other player I seriously consider was Manuel Neuer. Neuer has been a pioneer for the role of goalkeepers. He's shown that there's a place for goalkeepers who are good with their feet. Prior to his arrival, goalkeepers that played that way were more likely to turn up on a bloopers video than an award ceremony. So he really has changed things for goalkeepers. Nowadays, most big clubs have a goalkeeper that's good with their feet and it's often high up the list of criteria that clubs are after when appointing their next number one. Neuer has enjoyed a lot of success throughout his career, especially since moving to Bayern, where the highlights include eight Bundesliga titles and two Champions Leagues. He was also the German number one when they won the World Cup in 2014. There's little doubt Schmeichel and Neuer would be worthy of a place in my team, but for me they've just been pipped by Gianluigi Buffon, who is still breaking strikers' hearts at the age of 42 years old. Buffon began his career with Parma and debuted against the great AC Milan team of the 90s, famously making an exceptional save to deny George Weah, Roberto Baggio and Marco Simone in a 0-0 draw. He was just 17 at the time and while he didn't push his way into the first team properly in that first season, by the beginning of the 1996-97 season he had secured his place as the first choice option between the sticks for the club. The Parma team that Buffon played in was packed full of stars. Players like Lilian Churam, Fabio Cannavaro, Dino Baggio, Juan Sebastian Veron, Hernan Crespo, Enrique Chiesa and Faustino Aspria were among his teammates. And he won the Coppa Italia, the UEFA Cup and the Italian Super Cup in 1999 with the Giallo Blue. Buffon stayed with Parma until 2001 when Juventus signed him for a world record fee for a goalkeeper of £33 million. He wasted no time in settling in with Juve and would remain first choice with the Bianconeri, injuries permitting for the next 17 years. In his first stint with Juve, he won nine Serie A titles, four Coppa Italias and five Italian Super Cups. He also won Serie B with Juve when he stayed at the club after they were relegated for their part in the Kelsio Pole scandal, which endeared him to the fans as so many of their stars took the opportunity to leave rather than help the club get back to the top flight. Buffon left Juve in 2018 and spent a year in France with PSG, where he won the league and the French Super Cup before returning to Juve, this time in a backup role, although he did play his part as Juve won yet another league title, Buffon's 10th with the club. The fact he's still at Juventus when he will turn 43 before the end of the season shows that he's very much playing for the love of the game, as the easy route would be to retire and relax with his millions in the bank instead of trying to reach the high standards expected of a Juventus goalkeeper at his age. Internationally, Buffon played for the Azuri 176 times, which is more than any other Italian international. He debuted at 19 years old in 1997 and was an unused squad member at the 1998 World Cup. By the 2000 Euros, he was first choice but ended up missing the tournament through injury. So it was the 2002 World Cup before he made his debut at a major tournament, although he has been first choice at every tournament Italy have been in since, including the 2006 World Cup when he won the Yashin Award for the goalkeeper of the tournament as Italy went on to win their fourth World Cup in Germany. 
For me, Buffon meets the criteria of everything I like in a goalkeeper. He commands his area, can make stops and controls those in front of him. With his experience, he has grown into an outstanding leader. And with this being his 26th season, nobody can question his longevity. He's never won the Champions League despite playing in three finals. And this might be his last chance to win one. But even at almost 43 years old, you can be sure that Buffon still has goals and things he wants to achieve before he finally decides to call time on one of the best careers of all time.